Hey everyone, it's Jesse the Redneck with Thin Blue Line Outdoors. Uh, just put in my third 12 hour day, which you guys, if you know, I'm an assistant principal, which is kind of unheard of for that, but we had conferences and a fun activity night for the kids tonight. But it is happening now. Now I'm gonna go get some much needed snacks for the deer stand and some gas. And then I'm gonna head on down back to the Mercer County farm. Or if you've been, you, know, you haven't been following me, I haven't turned in any film yet. But I have not been able to hunt yet this year. It's uh, November 10th. So my first sit on the Lido farm is going to be November 11th. Uh, Ash is out there right now. Hasn't seen much. So hopefully, hopefully uh, that can change. But I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm going to hit the road. I'm going to get there. It's about three hours, three and a half hours away. So it's going to be late night. But I cannot wait to be back in the stand. I'll keep you updated. Hey everyone. It's Jesse the Redneck from Thimbleline Outdoors. It's November 11th, almost 7. Back at the Mercer County Farm for one of my last hunts in Illinois. Off in the woods, I got a field in front of me, but I'm in the woods. And uh, I heard two very loud crashes this morning when dark. Seen anything yet? Ash is uh, set up in a new stand we have on here, and uh, we're planning on being out all day. So hopefully, hopefully we get the job done. Hopefully we see some deer. He's been out this whole week. Ryan got his buck on Tuesday. After that, Ash has seen maybe a few deer. He got a turkey. But nothing yet. Nothing since then. So, it's, uh, it's supposed to be a great day in the woods. Little to no wind. Peak rut. So, let's hope. Hope we get the job done today. Keep you updated. Well, about 8 a.m. on November 11th still, I saw a deer that we call the unicorn about 45 yards to my right. And uh, he called me unicorn because he's a little spike, but he's only got one little spike. He kind of was just cruising a little bit, sniffing the floor, not like interested in anything like that but Ryan's messaging me <laughs> telling them all this because I'm proud of you I said for what and he goes for passing on that spike that's what I told him that I had pass on him he just didn't give me a shot if he would have given me a shot shot the spike. <laughs> I am out for blood here. I need meat in the freezer, so hopefully we can get it done here soon. So, about 20 minutes ago I shot a big buck. I think it's a big buck. Some good blood from this buck I just shot. 
I'm really hoping I can find some good blood. And that would be mean to either tracking it or just waiting a little bit longer. I might wait a little bit longer regardless. Ash and I are supposed to meet up at noon. He's hunting the pipe stand and he doesn't get any cell service there. It's one of those things you keep playing it over and over and over in your head. And you're like, I wish, I just need to feel it like, remember, take a breath in that moment. And like, really analyze everything. You know, it always happens so fast. Everybody says that it happens so fast, but it's always going to happen fast. So, I had to slow down, stop and think. mind right to be able to analyze everything before after during the shot so I'm gonna get down here and go see what I can find holy crap guys no blood no arrow just some fur thought last hour I'll get down I'll look for the arrow and then you know what no arrow I'll follow the path I'll follow the path and when you follow the path, look at this. You find them. Holy smokes. Whoa. I cannot believe I just found that deer. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Now, now the real work begins. Come on. On board. Mm. Hey guys, you just watched Jesse there harvest that buck with his bow. One thing that's cool about just seeing that deer is that was actually his last Illinois resident deer tag. Uh, Jesse recently moved to Wisconsin and this was his last time hunting as a resident of Illinois. So it's good that he uh, was able to harvest that deer with his bow. You know, I've been able to watch Jesse now for about six years, grow as a hunter. We've had uh, a lot of fun hunts together here in Illinois with him as a, being a resident. Um, we still plan on hunting with Jesse. Jesse's still a part of the team, but obviously we're not going to be able to hunt as much together with him being in Wisconsin. So he'll be bringing us some Wisconsin adventures in the next uh, coming years. God, I'm super excited for him and his family, but it was really cool to uh, see him get one more 